Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lab, we are going to learn about Terraform taint command. So basically, go to TF commands folder and create a new folder. Name it Terraform taint. So you must be wondering what is exactly Terraform taint command. Well, Terraform taint command informs Terraform that a particular object has become degraded or damaged. So Terraform represents this by making uh, the object as a tainted in this Terraform state and Terraform will propose to replace it in the next plan you create. Let me show you uh, with an example. So let's go to GCP and for example, let's go to cloud storage and let's take a case.json, main.tf and provider.tf, these three files as usual. So let's go to Terraform Taint and let's paste it. And we just need the resource Google Storage Bucket block. And so we can delete other resource blocks. Let's delete it, other resource blocks. And also we are going to make it our Google Storage Bucket very simple. You can see we have name, location, label. So the only thing we need to change is here the bucket name since it should be the globally unique so let's make it bucket terraform let's say seven i usually give weird bucket names don't worry it's you can give it on your own by your choice but only thing it's, it should be globally unique so here you can see the google storage bucket so let's go to the directory cd terraform um taint so basically, in order to see how the Terraform Taint command will work, we just need to run Terraform init first. And let's wait until the Terraform initializes. And after that, we can run Terraform FMT to format our code. You can run Terraform validate whether the configuration is valid. And finally, we can run the Terraform taint command to see how it works. So sometimes it will take a bit time to initialize the backend, the provider. So now we can run Terraform FMT to format our code. And now we can run Terraform validate. Oh, I think I have a pipe over here. Validate. I think the configuration is valid. Success. So now we can run Terraform Taint. And let's see. Let me clear. And then run Terraform Taint. So as you can see, it's saying that the taint command expects exactly one argument, the Terraform global options, Terraform options address. So in order to run Terraform taint command, you need to run Terraform taint and Google storage bucket and dot the bucket name, bucket Terraform, Terraform, I think seven, yeah. This will not work because you need to let me let's see it. And as you can see, it's saying that no such a resource instance. Why? Because we need to apply this resource block and then we can run Terraform taint command. Let me show you. So let's run Terraform plan and let's apply it. And after apply, you can run yes. And let's see, Google Storage Bucket is our bucket is you can see it, it's ready. You can see apply is complete. Now we can run Terraform Taint Google Storage Bucket dot bucket name. And if we click enter, you can see the resource instance Google Storage Bucket and bucket name bucket Terraform 7 has been marked as tainted. So if we run Terraform apply, you will see that it will say that Terraform, you can see this Google Storage Bucket, Bucket Terraform 7 is tainted, so it must be replaced. 
So this is, this is how it works. So we will click no. So we can also do Terraform instead of Taint. You can also run Terraform Untaint. You can see if you click on it, it will say resource instance Google storage bucket dot bucket name has been successfully untainted. So you have to be careful. This command, the, the Terraform Taint command, is deprecated for Terraform. 0.15.2 versions and later later versions it's recommended using the replace option with terraform apply so for that for example you can do what you can for example do terraform um, apply and after this terraform apply command you basically write replace and here you can do google storage storage bucket and the bucket name bucket terraform 7 right not 6 7 and let's click on enter and you can see it's refreshing it's now going to apply so you can see that google storage bucket dot bucket name will be replaced as requested so be careful that the this command terraform taint once again is deprecated so you can use this uh, terraform applies replace this command let me show you this terraform apply replace google storage bucket dot bucket dot terraform 7 so terraform taint command is deprecated so this is how it works let's make it no and uh, this is all about it for this video and see you in the next video